guys. Uh, I'm back. Yami Chaden has only eight here, as you know. Uh, you just saw us, me and Bill, using the shaders. And now we're going to give you the tutorial on how to install the shaders. Um, unfortunately, Carionix has uh, made the shaders um, that are not compatible with Optifine. Hopefully, he's going to make them compatible with Optifine soon. And that's just a bug. So these are the beta shaders that we have gotten. Um, so we're going to show you how to install them. So, um, have I forgotten anything, Bill? Uh, nope, you're okay. pretty much set there. Okay, okay. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you, well, I'm going to show you. Bill's going to be there to remind me if I forgot anything. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install everything with Magic Launcher. Um, we'll also show you how to use it with the, the normal Minecraft folder. Um, so let me open my magic launcher. Um, I am using a Mac, but this should go the same for Windows people too. Um, so you go to your setup. Um, let me just remove everything. And so, let's see, it's that. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our magic launcher here on setup and everything. So I have these two files over here. Um, one is a Minecraft Forge um, installer. And one is a Shaders Mod Core file. Um, I'll provide a download link for both of them. Um, when this video is done, I'll put it up along with the video. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install this. So you're going to click that, and it's going to install. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again. But what you want to do is click Install Client, and then click OK. And it'll install it for you. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Environment and click um, 1.6.2 Forge blah blah blah. And so that'll be in your environment, still on 1.6.2. And then you add the the Shaders Mod core file. Um, and it should should be compatible. And when you log in and everything, it... um Here, let's, let, let me test it out. When you log in, it'll... It should you should be able to use shaders. Um, I'm gonna see. I have I kind of have it on some high settings. Um, it takes a bit to load because of Forge and everything, but it's not gonna be bad. It's gonna gonna be quick. Um, you shouldn't get any bugs with it. It should load properly. Hey guys, um, I'm back. But if you may notice, this is not my screen. Um, my good friend here, Bill is um, doing it for us since my magic launcher is being a little bit weird. I'm on a Mac. And for those of you with Windows, you might be wondering, well, how do I do it on my Windows? Bill's got a window, so he'll be uh, showing us. He'll be uh, telling us what we're doing here. Um, so, yeah. Tell us, Bill. Okay, so basically what we'll be doing is we'll be using magic launcher. You can also do it on Minecraft. Obviously, I think yeah, he's already told you that, but... Um, so basically we've put in the forge, it'll already be injected, and then the shaders mod we're actually put in. So yeah, I'll take it back to you. Mm, yeah, okay. So first of what you're going to want to do is um, open the magic launcher up. Or have it up there. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So if when you what you saw in my part was you already, okay, so what we already did was we already installed the uh, forge file. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Setup. Um, as Bill's already done, he has the Shaders mod already there in it. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to What I did wrong was I put it up in the top part. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it in the external mods part. So what you're going to want to do is click Manage. And it'll pull up this folder. And you're going to drag your Shaders mod core into that folder as Bill has already done. And it so you exit out of that. And then you should be able to use the shaders mod on Magic Launcher, am I right? Uh yeah. Also what you want to do is you yeah, well that's basically it. And just remember up here it will be on 1.6.2 and what you want to do is you just want to go down to 1.6.2 and forge whatever that says. Yeah. True. Thank you, Bill. Okay. So, um, let's see if it works. Let's see how the shaders work. Just log in there. Give it a second. It takes a while to load with, um, 
with the shade as mod as it is a new thing, but it will come up, just be patient. There we go. So then, um, if we just go on to server I play on, so at hub.worldofcoralis.com, if you ever want to come visit, and should come up, well, what you will need to do, before I um, forget, is you want to go on to shaders, and you want to go and pick shaders mod, which will be in the link in the description. Yes. Um, so you will have Rudo's plays, which you can download any one you want. Like, I use the light shader pack because it is quite laggy at the moment, but you can use Rudo's. Yeah. Even though it can be a little bit laggy. And guys, from, and this, from this video perspective, it's going to look like Bill has some very bad FPS which is not actually what's happening. Bill's got some very nice FPS right now, but we're using... Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry, we had a bit of Skype problems. We're having a bit of internet problems today, okay? Um, so what you're seeing is him, um, Bill, using some shaders. Um, lagging very badly. He's lagging badly, but that is because not only is he showing us... We're watching him through Skype. He's also showing us his screen through Skype, too, at the same time giving him some lag, but it's, it's not as bad as it looks from our point of view. So yeah, that is um, how you would do it on the Windows. Um, we're next going to show you how to install it using the default Minecraft um, um, launcher. Not Magic Launcher, the default one. You're going to probably be like, whoa, but yeah, the new one. So, um, hey guys, Yamichin78 uh, back. Uh, I would like to thank Bill for letting us uh, use his screen for the shaders uh, tutorial for Magic Launcher. Um, now I'm going to show you how to install it with um, the normal Minecraft jar thing. So right now I have it um, on my default jar. Nothing's installed or anything. So what, we know, what we're going to do, as I said before, with Magic Launcher, same thing. Um, you're going to install, you're going to use Forge, this Forge installer that I'm going to give you over here. Um, you're going to click Install Client and click OK. And that'll give you a note that says, um, Shaders Mod. I, oops, I opened the Shaders Mod. Um, so it'll give you something that says, Successfully Installed Client, blah, blah, blah. Um, so next, what you're going to do what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to edit profile right here and um, it's going to have all these options and stuff doesn't really matter what you're going to want to do is to go to use version and click the scroll down bar you're going to want to use the for you want to click the forge and once you click the forge that should that should be there you should click save profile and hit play. Now I've already got the shaders thing installed I believe so it might um, you guys will probably see it and will probably be stunned um, and I'll show you how to put the shaders in there quite shortly. Give me a second because it the forge has to load it takes a bit so here we can see that forge is installed we've got our mods so yeah so next we're going to go to folder um, or you're gonna, what you're gonna want to do is look for your Minecraft folder, your dot Minecraft folder, um, and you're gonna want to open the mods folder, which um, Forge should have made for you, and you're gonna want to drag this shaders mod core thing into there. It's a core mod folder. It's a jar, so you're gonna have to put it in the mods folder. Then you're gonna open the Minecraft back up. You're going to want to. Um, make sure that you have this forge on, and you're going to want to hit play. Let it load for a bit. I'm going to move my mouse everywhere. We do 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 do. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm just going to keep it on a small screen because, well, I'll put it on a big screen. Why not? Let's put it on a big screen. So here we've got our shaders, um, we'll just use this for now. Um, we'll go to the server. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're, at, we're on Bill's Island, um, and I'm using shaders as you can see. 
I'm using the light shaders texture pack, light shaders pack. You can see the sh it just has shadows and a bit of uh, lighting. And yeah, like that. So we'll go on this side and see the lighting it gives us, like this. Gives us the nice uh, shadows and that stuff. And we can even um, change our shaders. So we can go to maybe Chocopic shaders. Um, these are, a lot of people say these are not laggy, but for me they are, it's weird, they are kind of laggy, so we'll just, um, let's see. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll use Rudos. Here we go. Here we go. So here you can see I'm using Rudos. Um, let's see this mansion here. And you can see the water has that wavy, um, thing. Over here we've got the nice shadows, wavy water, um, the leaves are waving, all that good stuff. So guys, um, I think, I think my tutorial here is done. And, um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, please, if you need any help, um, put it in the comments. Um, there are a few bugs with these shaders. For example, the Optifine thing we may have already mentioned. Um, um, the Optifine, yeah. Optifine. And so when, op when it does become compatible, if it does, uh, Bill and I will release a new video teaching you how to use Optifine. And, um, yeah. So, see you guys. Uh, bye.